evening, everyone. Lakeisha McKnight is here. Welcome to the Leadership TKO Live Night Show. Welcome to the night show. We ordinarily will be using the Zoom platform, but it's been giving us a little bit of technical difficulties at the last minute. And so I honestly believe that whenever you have a message to share, one of inspiration, that it's actually going to hit home for someone. And so you have all types of hurdles that tries to arise, but we overcome. Okay, we overcome through those hurdles. And nonetheless, we are indeed here. We're live on Facebook. We're also live on Spreaker, iHeartRadio. We're live on the leadershiptkostation.com's website. And so I want to welcome everybody here. Now, of course, my prayer is that you can see me pretty good. You can hear me pretty well. And so I am your leadership specialist and your wealth mentor. And I'm excited to be here before you tonight. I'll tell you that this particular show, we normally go live every single evening around 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But I will tell you, We've had our wealth presentation, okay, that's still going on right now. We have our senior mentor. It's a senior mentor. He is the CEO of Wealth Builders Worldwide and a network marketing hall of famer. He's going to be sharing some words of inspiration on his stream at 10 o'clock p.m. And he's a senior mentor for myself and many others around the world. And so we have a great message from him to look forward to. I wanted to make sure I touch bases with my uh, those people who are do plug into the not, the network as far as the Leadership TKO Night Show, and for those who are in other countries around the world as well. And so, welcome aboard, everyone. And I'm not going to be here very long. And I normally tell you this because I'm going to direct you to the stream that's going to be hosted by Mr. Ty Best. But before we do that, I have a very special inspirational message tonight. And it's a message entitled, Faith Over Fear, Leaders in Hot Pursuit. Faith Over Fear, Leaders in Hot Pursuit. If you want to go ahead and share this out, if you want to do a watch party in reference to this, feel free to go ahead and do so. I'll give you just a second or two to be able to send this out and share it with other people. But here is what I really want to share with you tonight. Okay, here is what I really want to share. You know, we got this big old hype, all of this talk about, you know, this virus and things like that. I try not to give it the time nor the day, but at the same time, you know, want to use wisdom. Okay, and I want to help other people to use wisdom as well when it comes to anything pertaining to our health. But what I'm coming to see and notice around the world is that certain things is placed out there in the news, in the media, and it causes people to have fear and anxiety and worry. Now, am I telling you not to worry about uh, not to worry about things? Absolutely correct. <laughs> Do not fret. Now, most people who are of faith, people of faith, people who have a relationship with God, I have to specify this, people who have a relationship with God through Jesus Christ himself are asked not and recommended not to fret, not to be anxious for anything, but to cast your cares upon him because he cares for you. You see, for people of faith, when you operate in fear, that shows your lack of faith in the Father. And so if you are a child of God, if you are a kingdom citizen, your faith is in the Most High. You believe that the Most High is going to cover your home. He's going to cover you. He's going to cover all of your loved ones and your friends, cover everybody with the blood of his dear son, Jesus, and that you will be completely covered. You will have no worries. You don't have to be anxious. You don't have to kind of ponder in your mind what you have to do, do this and do that. You're going to do what you're led to doing in preparing your household, protecting your household, having your household in order and walking by faith every day. You see, this is a faith walk. It's all about faith. When, when you are living as a child of God, you're walking by faith. When you are an entrepreneur, yes, absolutely, you are walking by faith. And so if you operate by fear, it's going to cause you to stunt your growth. And it's going to prevent you from moving forward. Because one thing that we must consider and must keep in mind that we have to consider, continue to seek the kingdom first. And so that means continuing to seek your purpose right? Continuing to seek your purpose, whatever it is that God has called you to do. And so you can't let announcements like this prevent you from doing what it is that you've been called to do, right? So you need to be hearing clearly from the most high. 
You need to be taking action when he guides and directs you to be able to do so and not move and cause yourself to be stunted because of fear. Some people use that acronym for fear, you know, F-E-A-R, false evidence appearing real. But what you want to do is make sure you have a listening ear and that you're listening for the voice of the most high God. What is he saying in this season? What is really truly going on in this season around the world? You need to be in tune with the spirit. Okay. You need to be in tune and you need to also protect your home. Make sure you have your household in order. Make sure you check your faith. Where is your faith in this season with all that's going on, right? It should not come as a shock that these things are happening, especially for those who are Bible scholars and you're reading the word. These things are to come. They were bound to happen, okay? Especially when it comes to dealing with things of the economy. So we as leaders, as people of faith, we need to be moving by faith and not by fear. Do not allow fear to stunt your growth, to cause you to be at a standstill. But you need to be moving and walking, of course, with wisdom and walking by faith. Because the just shall live by faith. Who are the just? The just are the righteous. Who are the righteous? The righteous are those who are in right alignment with the most high God. Those are the just. Okay, it's a legal term. We have to make sure that our vertical alignment with the most high God is in order. And if that alignment is not there, yes, you're going to be anxious. Yes, you're going to worry. Yes, you're going to fret. But for those who faith is strong and secure and not wavering, you're going to be fine. But you want to definitely take precautious measures. You want to definitely, of course, wash your hands and be cautious of people around you sneezing and all these type of things. You want to be aware of that. Yes, you do. But you don't want to move and walk by fear. You want to walk by faith, trusting God, seeking the kingdom of God first, right? Putting him first in all that you do and being in hot pursuit of him. And as a result, your purpose, whatever he has called you to do in this season of your life, being in hot pursuit of that purpose. And if that purpose, is, if a part of that is freedom, whether it's financial freedom, time freedom, location freedom, if it's freedom, be in hot pursuit of freedom. Don't let anyone, just like our senior mentor says, don't let anyone steal your dream. And that includes the enemy who tries to arouse fear in the hearts of people. That is his job. You need to understand what the job of the enemy is to stir up fear. But understand that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but he's given us a spirit of love, a spirit of power and a sound mind, a sound mind, a mind that's at peace when all this chaos is happening around us, a mind and a heart of peace. And that's what's going on with the believer. It should be for those who are properly aligned. There should be a spirit of peace over you, knowing that you are covered by the blood of Jesus. I know you're probably like, I didn't know that Lakeisha was going to get super spiritual, but I'm going to tell you the truth. There's a lot of things going on and it first manifests spiritually in the unseen realm before it manifests itself in the physical realm. All this stuff that you're seeing manifesting physically right now is because there were things stirred up spiritually that you were not seeing. You can't see it with the natural eye. You have to see it with the spiritual eye. And so if you can't see it, You're going to miss it and it's going to cause you to be off guard. So I'm going to encourage each and every one of you that's tuning in right now, be prepared, prepare your household. Things are shifting right now. It's shifting in the natural realm. It's shifting in the spiritual realm. Get your house in order, get your house and guess whose house first must be in order. That is you get your mind in order, get your heart in order, get your relationship with the most high in order. Your house, your tabernacle is the first house and then get your physical house, those in your household in order. It is time. You can't delay with this. It's a serious matter. You see exactly what's happening. You need to get yourself in order and make sure your home is in order. Get get these things straight. Be in hot pursuit. 
be in hot pursuit of the most high, be in hot pursuit of the kingdom of God, be in hot pursuit of his righteousness. It is time. It is time. And that is really what I'm sticking with. That is really it guys. So I want to encourage you for those of you who are trying to get your, even your, your, your economy of your own home in order. I do have to mention this. You want to make sure you have protected the dollars you work so hard for. You want to make sure that you have, you know, the right money. Many of you think the dollar is money. It's not money. It's fiat currency. That's probably going to take another 30, 40 minutes to even expound on. But what I will tell you is that my mentor, Mr. Ty Best, he's actually going to be going live in a couple of seconds. I want to encourage you to tune into the watch party that you're going to see appear on my timeline and the timelines of other believers or other wealth builders. I'm going to put this out there. Every wealth builder is not a believer. And I know it may catch you off guard. Every wealth builder is not necessarily in right alignment with the kingdom. Can I just put this out there? Yes, you have your economy in order, but if you're not in right alignment with the most high, if your relationship is not in order, despite all that you might have, things, you have to pursue positioning your relationship with the most high over things that is owned and created by the most high. If you are not aligned, things will not matter. If you are not aligned and positioned correctly, having a relationship with the most high, right? Being a kingdom citizen, it doesn't matter what you have. It doesn't matter what things you have because even what you have can be taken from you. Just like that. So I'm going to encourage you. I know, totally different direction, but this is what I'm led to sharing with you tonight. Get yourself in order, get your household in order, and of course, make sure your economy is protected and in order. You need God's money. You need gold. Paper with that ink on it is not, is not money. It's fiat currency. It's a liability. Get your home in order. So I want to prepare and actually encourage you to tune into the stream. We're going to be shifting gears in just a couple of seconds. You'll see a watch party appear. And I want to encourage you, even if you're going to be listening to this after the fact, go ahead and share this with other people. Love the stream if this has helped you, encouraged you, motivated you, and definitely help other people, motivate them to get their households in order as well. My home is covered in my prayer is that your home, your household is covered as well. But I can't get you in alignment with the Most High. Only you can do that. So again, thank you so much for tuning in to the stream tonight. Fear over, faith over fear. That is the title. Faith over fear. Leaders in hot pursuit. So thank you so much, everyone. Let's get ready to plug in, of course, to the Freedom Call slash stream that's hosted by Mr. Ty Best and Wealth Builders Worldwide. If you're tuning into this and listening into this and you're like, well, Lakeisha, how do I get plugged into this, this, this mastermind of leaders who is getting their households in order, their economy in order? I want to encourage you to get back with the person that shared this video with you. If it's me, send me an inbox message. If it's someone else, give them an inbox message. Let them know that you're ready to get your household in order as well, okay? Get your economy in order. If you're tuning in by way of podcasts or streaming on podcasts, there is a link in the description area. Go ahead and visit the website and get yourself plugged in. But otherwise, everyone, the Leadership TKO Live Night Show will be back tomorrow night, somewhere around 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So until then, I want to encourage each and every one of you to think, to speak, and to live leadership. Good night, everyone. God bless. And I'll catch you on the Freedom Call with Mr. Ty Best.